First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to apologize for last night. First, I want to apologize to our students. I know many of you had to wait on buses or wait in your school for several hours, and I truly apologize for that. I know how unnerving and unsettling that must have been for even our youngest students, but all of our students, and we truly apologize to you. I apologize to our families, our parents. An apology to the entire JCPS family from students, families, staff, and all of the bus drivers after a transportation disaster on the first day of school. The district canceled class both today and tomorrow to fix these mistakes made during both AM and PM pickups. The last student dropped off at home at 9.58 p.m. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio calling it unacceptable, saying what happened lies solely with him and his team. Our reporter Jim Stratman's at the Nichols bus compound right now. You've been able to talk with JCPS officials, the bus drivers there, even some parents. What is everyone saying today, Jim? Well, Brooke, it's evident there's a lot of discontent. There's a lot of frustration on all parties. And at this point, there's quite a bit of finger pointing going on as well. Now, parents I spoke with earlier today called what happened yesterday an absolute nightmare. Some were calling for Dr. Polio to resign. Others applauding him for having the bravery to make a bold decision when it comes to bus transportation. But everyone wants to see this whole situation fixed. Now, earlier this morning, in the immediate fallout of JCPS, canceling classes. One bus driver told me that the problem does not fall on the driver's shoulders. The problem falls with the routes that they're being told to drive. She told me that she hit all of her stops at the time she was supposed to, but still didn't get back to the bus depot last night until an hour after she was supposed to get off. She told me that four more days of running routes will not fix this problem. And that coming in direct opposition to what Dr. Marty Polio said will take place in the next four days. Superintendent saying his team will be reviewing all bus routes, paying drivers to practice their routes throughout the weekend, and improving communication between parents, schools, and the central office. I can say that change is hard, and it is. The massive change we are undertaking is extremely difficult. But in the end, that can't be the excuse. We have to be better at what we are doing. And once again, I'll say this, that lies squarely on my shoulders and my team's shoulders. It is not on bus drivers, it's not on the school, it's on me and my team, and we are going to fix this. The superintendent said that his team will be working around the clock this weekend to address the busing situation. In addition to the three, ten, the three things that I already mentioned will change this weekend, he also said that the district will be expanding hours for its call center at 485 Ride.